Three weeks ago in Los Angeles, you were talking about how we're evolving, and you brought up a, you, you used the words, let's do it the new way. And we went thriving babies, thriving mothers, and I wanted to ask you a question about the one second pivot. I know we revel in the contrast, and the advantage of pivoting quickly. That puts us into like a step two relationship with our inner being. We get to share more time in step two? There's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on here. <laughs> we want to start with the one second pivot because the only environment or situation in which someone could experience a one second pivot, meaning know what I don't want, know what I do want, is if you're in this more neutral zone where there's not much variance between satisfied and not satisfied. The more variance there is, then the more of what you call time it takes for you to focus yourself into different momentum. Because law of attraction is the engine behind all of this. So if you've got a lot of momentum taking you away from who you are, you're not coming back in one second unless that's the second the truck hits you and you move into non-physical. Right. I understand. And so... The one second pivot, it really is what we're guiding you toward. That's being close enough there that you can make that choice. Otherwise, the further you get from knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want, then the more of what you call time it takes for you to move yourself thought by thought by thought by thought into the vicinity of alignment. Meditation is the fastest way we know of. And if you're reading the Ask and It Is Given book, take a look at them if you're interested but they are different processes for different situations that you might find yourself in and all of them define what emotions might be present when this particular process might be helpful the only process that covers all of the emotions that's helpful no matter where you are is the process of meditation because in meditation if you've got lots of contrast active in your vibration and you are able to quiet your mind which we believe anyone can do once they understand how easy it is to do it once you quiet your mind your vibration rises immediately and that is the most magnificent pivot that we can think of because the raising of vibration and then the discovery or the accomplishing of vibrational mutuality with your inner being gives you access to infinite intelligence and good timing about all things that pertain to you is that what you're getting at that's exactly what I'm getting at the next question is would you speak to the surrender of our compliance with our inner being in, in the receiving mode we don't actually use the word surrender that much a lot of teachers do but what we would mean if we were using the word we would mean releasing resistance we would never mean giving up desire because you can't you can't give up the expansion that life has caused you to accomplish which is where your inner being stands but surrendering is giving up the beliefs that are preventing you from moving in the direction giving them up or suspending them surrender suspender suspending them just letting them not be active well most people don't do that something happened to you 20 years ago most people talked about it 20 years ago and 19 years ago and 18 years ago and 17 16 and talked about it today in other words you keep updating the vibration of it so you haven't suspended the vibration of it under those conditions you've kept it active so it's not likely that you're going to have a one second pivot now and that all of a sudden you're going to surrender a vibration that you've been practicing all this time because law of attraction has helped you to keep it active and it's illogical that you would surrender it unless you find some way to quiet your mind and when you meditate do you meditate when you find yourself in that sort of detached state where you can't really tell your nose from your toe that detached state where you're just sort of floating and drifting and not thinking that is the ultimate surrendering or suspending or deactivating of contrasting thought which allows an instant pivot into 
all the thought that your inner being has about you but now hear this you got there through releasing resistance and now you're in that satisfying place of non-resistance even though your inner being knows everything you want and where every bit of it is and how you can get there your inner being isn't all of a sudden force feeding you with all of those ideas instead your inner being is allowing you to acclimate to the momentum and then as the thoughts begin to flow and you acclimate to those thoughts then you get to witness the improvement of your life so what are you getting at here? I'm getting at I want to go over it again the context was Jerry had read a headline and it said babies and mothers hungry no medicine and then a group like this we got together and in 10 days they lifted the blockade and I said I want to flow this jet stream on this high flying into the subject we want to discuss this fully with you and we understand completely what you want so just relax and let's chew through this for a moment so the idea of this is that I'm here in this physical body and that through it I've witnessed things like headlines of things I don't want that have caused me to want children to be fed and medicine to get where it needs to be and people to thrive rather than suffer and prosperity to abound and oh there's so much that I want because of the headlines that I've witnessed not only I but billions of others have created this collective vortex of well-being and sources all over it but now in my human form I want to help it along even more than I have been I've been part of creating this asking and I'm maybe one of the few who understands that the answering is already there that it's already been given so now I want to this is what we hear from you I want to be a further help in turning those thoughts into a reality than I have been so how can I best focus my mind in order to get the food where it needs to be and get the babies back with their parents and help soothe the wounds that are bleeding and what can I do to help and what we really want you to know is that you've done all that you need to do maybe not all that you want to do but you've done all that needs to be done in that you have identified the problem which caused you to identify the solution and if you can trust that source energy is all over the solution then you living happily ever after is the most that you can do but that goes contrary to what most people think because it feels like wait a minute they're still suffering and I'm living happily ever after how does that square how can me living happily ever after how can my satisfaction be of benefit to anyone because in your satisfaction you've lifted the vibrational blockade in your satisfaction now you are a conduit through which more well-being can flow where more good timing can flow and so it is our promise to you as you hold yourself in a place of satisfaction by not taking score you see that's the only thing about this scenario that you've explained to us that isn't the best one because when you intend to do good and then you watch to see the good you've done you often are aware of what's not happening as much as you are aware of what is happening so you have to stay satisfied you have to be satisfied the source energy is on it you have to be satisfied that you've launched the rocket you have to be satisfied that the vibrational reality exists you have to feel satisfied that everyone has the ability to get what they want you have to feel satisfied that you are satisfied that's the most important thing be satisfied that you are satisfied and then ask for awareness of improvement ask for awareness that the pressure is being taken off watch for the benefit Esther finds herself feeling like you're feeling often because she thinks I'm living happily ever after can't I use my alignment in ways to really put some emphasis on some things that could really matter but almost every time she steps into that arena she doesn't mean to but she finds herself pushing against those she believes caused the problem and then she's worthless to the solution because now she's back in step one again so you gotta really be in step five you gotta be really willing to give up your attitude about the problem causers and surrender yourself to the solution you have to surrender yourself to the solution it's one or the other you can't be active on both so what you're saying is the answer is laughing and singing and playing all day that's it <laughs> and feeling interested 
and feeling proud of yourself and liking what you see in others and seeing the positive aspects in that and that and that and adoring the planet and loving the way the ocean is and seeing how blue the water is and appreciating the balance of the planet and devouring the food and feeling appreciation for all of those who contributed to the bringing of it to you it's endless it just goes on and on and on and on there is so much to focus upon that gives you satisfaction I'm completely satisfied <laughs> really good. That's good conversation. Hi. We are. So I've only discovered you uh, two weeks ago. So it's very new to me, everything. And yet familiar. Really familiar. Like calling to me. Yeah. The thing that Esther hears the most from people is, I always knew this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I listened to, I've been listening to your stuff just for two weeks while I bike rides because I'm training to do an Ironman. And I've gotten the most clarity listening to you when I'm like exerting my body to the maximum. That's because you're distracted from beliefs that are in the way. Your attention is upon something that is causing you to be open. So you're like a sponge taking it in. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to Italy and I just got back and something I used to do, like kind of some more magical stuff with stones and candles. And my question for you is I got back and this really called to me to, to do candles for myself, whatever causes you to focus and then something in me called me to start doing it for other people and and hearing some of the stuff you're saying because I feel like I've been sort of aligning myself more that now I'm thinking that I'm a, I'm like somehow like you said aligning other people with my alignment and people have been attracted to to whatever I am doing well when you are in alignment that's always the case one who's connected to source is millions of times more influential than one who is not so when you get tuned in, tapped in, turned on to who you really are, then those who are seeking what you are currently finding are drawn in a stronger way. So the key is don't get too caught up in where they are. Don't spend any time trying to analyze where they are because that just confuses things. Just trust that the universe has lined you up together for a reason and just take satisfaction in the unfolding and do as you're doing. Follow those impulses. Yeah, because prior to me thinking was when I was trying to get positivity and aligning myself, I had it in my head that there was lag time. I felt like, okay, like if you want to lose 50 pounds, like you don't lose it from eating well one day. It takes like many, many days. And so I felt like I, I think I may, may have made it too big for myself. It's like thinking, projecting 50 days from now, like I need to do this, this, and this for so many days. Consistency is of value. But Jerry always said, as he was teaching people prosperity or improvement on whatever, put your basket out there far enough that it thrills you when you make it, but not so far you don't believe you can. And so it's about your personal balance. That's what you just said to us. Yeah, it, it's taken me like a year to figure this out, which is pretty good since I was living a totally different lifestyle for 38 years. Well, you're doing extremely well. Just have fun with it and be easy about it. We are not offering any cautionary language here. There isn't anything that you should not do. So what we mean to say is do what you feel inspired to do, but be aware of what you're under the influence of when you feel the inspiration. That's the only piece here because you've trained yourself through discipline to accomplish a lot through discipline through physical discipline and there's not anything in the world that we see as wrong with physical discipline but when you couple this vibrational discipline you're going to discover that the thought alignment accomplishes so much more than the physical discipline for lack of easier words to find it's the attitude more than it is the training but it's hard to have the attitude of belief if you haven't trained yeah, because if I do yoga, I can't get to where I go where when I'm physically like if everyone's like, you should do yoga. And it's like when I'm there, it's like I'm stressed, like yoga stresses me. <sighs> but I'm like riding up a hill like this. I feel like totally calm. It's because you believe in your process. And so there's no cross current in your vibration. You believe in your process of discipline. You've applied yourself. You know, you're strong. You know, you're ready. You want to be ready. You want to do well. And so there's nothing out of alignment within you. That's why we want to explain that there's no right or wrong way to approach anything. It's all just by you deciding and then you lining up with what you've decided.